incorporate like the LS product within his own yeah. It's a look. Good fit, yeah. Right? yeah, it's yeah. a good fit. Like old school people. Yeah, 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 for Especially real. with the, your trainers as well. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Always. Okay, cool. Sweet, <laughs> My name's Kiko Bun. I'm a reggae tenor and I've been doing music like forever really. Like when I was young, I had a little guitar and a little drum and I always used to love the sound of drums. My dad would play a lot of roots and dub in the house. But when I went to school, I studied the violin in primary school and I took it to secondary school. I went to Pimlico to do classical violin and I got my grade 8 distinction in the end. I was about 17 or 18 and um, during that time I was getting into like old school hip hop and a lot of that kind of thing because I, I just really liked the sort of raggedy sound, you know, like record crackle and all that sort of thing. Um, and when I got to like 18 or 19, um, I realised that I really liked reggae but I didn't know much about it. So before I knew it, I had more reggae in my collection than hip hop. And I never really thought I'd ever sing to be fair as well. I used to do choir in school and Mr. Jones was like, I need to sing up, I need to sing up. I was like, nah, nah, I don't want to sing. Um, but yeah, so I'd start singing along to these like, Kind of, kind of rarish like roots tunes, and I started writing as well. And because I made beats like hip hop beats, I started making reggae beats, and I wrote a couple of tunes, and I, I just fell in love with it, man. And um, I went on the internet onto Gumtree and um, typed in reggae just to see what would come up. And there was a band looking for a lead male vocal, and I was like, well, I've written a couple of tunes, like it's worth a shot, you know what I mean? So um, I sent them a couple of demos and they wrote back and they're like, we'd love to meet you and stuff. Uh, it was a band called General Skank. Done that. And uh, yeah, I was their frontman for three years. And during that time, I was writing a lot of original stuff on the side. I uh, made a tune called Sticky Situation, um, which was just about, you know, like ups and downs or whatever in life. And just wanted to kind of express myself. And then uh, it got heard by Simon McCulloch from Island Records. And um, yeah, now I'm signed to Island and it's been like three, three, four years now. I've had a lot of fun in the past four years, written with some amazing people. And um, only now, I know it's a little late, but I've started writing my, my first album um, with a friend called Dan, he lives in Brighton. And um, yeah man, it's got reggae in it, bits of funk and hip hop as well, and a bit of soul. Um, so yeah man, like I'm just I just feel like honoured to be able to do what I love, you know what I mean? And I think um, Yeah, it's nice to it's nice to write about real life experiences as well, because then listeners get to know you a bit more, you know, through the music and stuff and it's kinda like a diary, like a photo album, but yeah, music. Yeah, man. Uh, my name's Kiko Bun, and um, I'm a reggae singer.